So if you just want to start off with, you know, who you are, how you got involved with music and everything and anything like that. All right. All right. Well, well, my name's Tom, my name's Tom Luce, Luce, and, and um, I started, I, started, I kind of, I got into music pretty young. I started singing, you know, doing singing lessons and stuff as, uh, you know, a young kid and started doing recitals. And like at 13, around 13 or 12, my brother had a band. And so then, um, you know, I kind of got into, or at least interested in like having a band and writing music even at a young age. So. I started, like, I started like stealing the tapes of his band and like doing the two tape recorder thing and like recording melodies over his band's instrumental music and stuff. And then, and, um, and really like the first like feedback I ever got on, on songwriting, cause that's ultimately what I am. A songwriter is when um, my dad and my brother called me into the room and they're like, Hey, we need to talk to you. Totally thought I was like, I'd done something wrong. And they're like, we found your tape. It's actually, it's, it's actually not bad, you know. They're like, it's it's pretty good. And I was like, so then, so I, then I, you know, I think I got, I got the idea, like, hey, it's it's okay if I do this, and I started um just kind of just kind of writing, writing just wanting to write and doing writing. Got got that going, and then I really, when the story really picks up, is like um when I I I started working on the first album, like um of a band that I started called Loose, you know, off of my last name. And, um, and um, just started writing, just started writing music and, and did like 12, did like 12 songs, songs, 10 songs, I think, ended up on that record. And then and when, when that was done, I just had a CD. CD. I didn't even have a band, had a CD. Had a CD. And, um, and um, a, friend of mine a friend of mine gave it to another guy ended who ended up being, um, being um, a radio promoter who gave it to KFOG and some other stations. And then really the whole thing just blew up. And and um, and one of the songs on that CD was called Good Day. And it really, I think it was that song that really, you know, kind of, you know, kind of pushed us through the other noise, the other noise and, and um, the other local bands, I think, at the time. So, so that really started a, a whole career for me. And, um, and really, I have to say, you know, like the best part about that was really that through that career, not only did I learn a ton about the music, not only did I get to write a lot and, and do a ton of shows and travel the country, but I. I got to, I got put, to together put together a band that now is, you know, like my best, my best friends, you know, like the guys, you know, we just did, we just did a Zoom meeting, like a trivia night last night, you know, and like, it's like you know, it's like, it's, 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 it's been just so much fun. And, um, and so now what I do is like, because I have a family, you know, and we, I have kids, I don't really consider like the idea of touring. And uh, of course you can't do it, really do it now anyway, but. Um, and now I just try to do as much writing as I can at home and find other creative ways, you know, to kind of, um, just to kind of keep writing and keep putting the music out there in whatever way I can. Right. Awesome. Well, um, to kind of segue from that, um, you said, you know, you start off just out of really just nowhere and then you got introduced into the, uh, radio station KFOG and, um, what were the kind of struggles that came along with that as, you know, trying to break out, okay, you had Good Day, which is a fantastic song. And, you know, if you didn't have that, or even with that, you know, what were the struggles coming up to that level or getting past that level as well? I think the, I main, think the main struggle was not knowing, you know, how, how I, would I would be able to like have a, have a living, have a living create, a living, create a, living a living for myself, you know, like, because you, you can do music, but, you know, and it's easier to do it, I think, when you're 15 and 16, 17, 18. But then, like, you move out and you're on your own. You start having some bills and, you know, that's where it kind of gets tough. But so I think the biggest thing, the hardest thing was for me to to really – you know, you know, remember, remember that what I wanted to do was possible, was possible and, that and that I just had to stay, just had to focused, stay focused and and, and, and trust in my own um, trust in my own talent, talent you know, and, 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 continue, and continue to try to develop it, give myself, give myself the best chance. chance. So, that really so that was really the hardest struggle, right? It's like that sort of that, you know, that confidence, I think, that that really helps. Um and then, knowing and then knowing that, that, that okay, it's, it's dude, it's also a skill, you know, you have to get good at it, you know, because there's a lot of people are trying to do it, you know, you can't just be confident. But some of the other struggles, I think, were um, finding the right band, you know, like really finding the right guys, you know, that's because I mean, there's, I mean, there's, a, there's a ton of great players. There's a, a lot of sort of mediocre players, but you, you really want to find the guys that can play well enough. 
and and but the, but hang, the hang, you know, like the, the, the hang out yeah. is is fun, is fun because you spend so much time together. Like, like when you're on, like the, road, when you're on the road, we used to tour, used to tour in like this van, um, and it was like you know eight hour days, you know, like six weeks, six weeks um, and just you know in a in a van with a bunch of sweaty guys, and just you know. But because, but because we, we, because, we, because, because it, was it was a great team and it was, and it was there were, we had friendships and made it fun. So, so, so I would say, I would say confidence, you know, finding, you know, the, right finding the right band. And then the last, then the last one is, um, once things, once start, things start to pick up, really trying really to, trying to cause, then people, cause then people have a lot of opinions about what you should do, you should do and you should go this way or that way. Really kind of finding your way and through that, through that kind of maze, you know, where you're getting pulled a few directions because we had a manager, we had a business manager. We had, we had you know, the band had wanted things, to do things, whether it was, whether it was where, where to tour, where to tour what songs to choose, to choose how the chorus, how the chorus to go should go on a song. You know, you know it's like, it's kind of it's like, kind of like and, it's, 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 and it still kind of comes back, back to that. You're like your, you're like your inner voice of what you want to do. Right. And so those were like, I think some, I mean, there are a lot of challenges. And but those three, I think were pretty, pretty big for me. Right. Um, well, that's very cool. I wanted to actually throw this question in real quick. I didn't list it, but what's a good thing to know when you're stuck with, you know, these bandmates for so long? I mean, not stuck with them, but, you know, you're with them 24-7. I know that you had vlogs that you guys used to do, which are absolutely entertaining. Totally, but, um, totally little fun. Little things like that. Any suggestions on that? We'll ask that well, again, ask that again. Just, so I know, just so I know what exactly what you're asking, exactly what you're asking really. <laughs> um, so what's the best way to really, I guess, stay with the band? To, you know, be best friends, not get annoyed with each other, you know? I mean, that's going to happen. Totally. But, totally. You know, yeah, man. Yeah, that's man. A that's question. a great question. Um, um, I think the biggest, think the biggest thing, thing is to pay them well. <laughs> You know, you know, that's like the, that's biggest, like the thing. biggest thing. You really, you really got to pay them well. Like if you're making a, let's say you keep it simple, you're making a thousand dollars at a show, and you you take home six hundred, and they're taking you know seventy five each. They're, it's just not gonna fly, and they're, and they're gonna feel uh, they won't trust you. So if you pay them well, it creates this foundation that you're gonna take care of them, that you have their best interest. Um. And, um, and, um, and then, and then the, the other thing is to, I think, open yourself up to their input, you know, like really, like say, really say, you know, what do you think about this bridge? What do you think about this chorus? What do you think about touring here? What do you guys want to do? And I think the, and I think the, 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 the more, the longer we've been together, the more I've done that. The other thing is, is like, if you get the input, right, you're not on the, you're kind of not on the, um, the hook. If things don't, if things go, don't well. go well. <laughs> I learned that. So it's like, you know, you get everybody's, you get everybody's input and then, um, you're, you're, you feel like a team, you know, and you're paying them well, you feel like a team. And then, then you can, all you have to do is just have fun, you know, and, um, but if there's, but if there's that underlying stuff, stuff cause I've made cause that I've mistake, made that mistake you know, where guys, where guys felt like it wasn't fair and I learned, and I learned pretty quickly. All right. I just need to, I need to keep it, need to keep as, it as, as even as I can. I, I mean, I have to make a little more cause I've got more expenses, expenses you, know, but, you know, but, but that was, but that was like kind of like one. a big one. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so to kind of add on to, uh, you talk about now you have a family and everything. Um, I mean, how do you balance your work life, music life and your personal life? I mean, is there, oh, I guess there's a right and wrong way in a sense, but what, what would you say the best way to go about it is for you personally, or, you know, someone who might be in your position? Well, it has been, well, di that's a good question. And it's been different at different, I think, times in my life. So in my twenties, when I started having the band, um, it was, a, it was a lot easier because my, my personal life was really simple, right? It was just, um, what I was doing, was doing when I wasn't doing music, right? Cause I didn't have, I wasn't married and I didn't have children. So at that time it was really, um, I balanced my personal life, but, you know, just making sure that I was taking care of myself really and making sure that I was. You know, even though, you know, even though I was writing a lot and doing a lot of music stuff, just making sure that I was, sure that I was um, keep, you know, keep, keep, it in touch keep it in touch with family and friends and my support group um, and making sure I was, you know, checking in to make sure they were okay. Right. Like just so, so my personal life has really helped, you know, my immediate family then was like my parents, my brothers and sisters, really staying in touch with them. Um, and also taking care of myself, you know, like trying to take care of my health. Um, that, that, kind of that kind of stuff, being in shape, being well, trying to, trying to, 
And then, but then when you get married, that's like, that's like the, first the first sort of personal life, life change. I think that's a big one. Um, and, the um, and the way I dealt with that is I tried to include my wife as much as possible. So she was, she wasn't, she wasn't a musician, but she was good with, um, she was good, she was good with like marketing and stuff and, and, and booking. So she, 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 she helped us, you know, and that way, if I went on tour, it wouldn't be like, I have to go on tour and have to leave. Yeah. And my, my wife was at home. And, and so that's, and so how, that's how I did it then. And then it gets even, it gets even harder when you have kids, man, because then it's like, you're not going to take, take a, a baby on the road, you know, <laughs> it's like, I mean, you could do it, but you have to, I think it, it gets expensive to do it. Like you have to have a couple of buses and stuff, yeah, and a ton of diapers, yeah. ton of diapers. But, um, but um, it, it's, it's just like, you know, so now, you know, so now it's, it's, um, it just kind of, it just kind of making sure, making sure that, that I, um, I carve, out I carve out time, and when I do carve out time, like I say, all right, you know, on Saturday, this is what I want to do. I want to do some writing, and make sure, and make sure that that you just kind of let people know what you're doing and see if they're make sure it's cool, you know. And but really, but really, that when you get married, when you get married and you have kids, like I think I think it it kind of slows you down in a sense, like in a good way, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just your, you focus, just, your changes, focus changes, like your family and your kids, especially your kids. Especially your kids. Right. Suddenly, you're like, wow, you know, you know these these, these, kids, these are kids are amazing, and it's it's a lot of, it's work. A lot of work. And you know, I don't see you know, I don't see myself going out on the road for eight weeks anymore. anymore yeah. You know, but yeah. maybe when they're a little, when they're a little older, older, I can yeah, do that. So. Yeah, but so. But one thing that's true about it, just to answer your question, is really taking care of yourself through it all. You know, like 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 I said when I was in my twenties, you just got to take care of your health and yourself, like your like your mental state and your you know and you know and lots of ways lots of ways to do that. Everybody does it differently, but for me, I just like trying to work out. You know, staying healthy because that that really helps you with all of that stuff. You know, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Um, so this might be a bit of a difficult question to answer now or or more simple but you know what is the music industry like today you know i mean maybe you can start with pre-covid you know and then what it's like right now where yeah, everyone yeah. is distanced from each other okay how do you work with your band you know how does the music industry in general work what are they going to do um that kind of thing that's a, well, that's, that's a, a that's a funny question because um like the, like music, the music industry, industry I think used to be the um the music industry, the music industry like really used, it really used to be the record, the record labels, labels that controlled, that controlled everything, everything you know so that, so was, that was sort of what was considered, was considered the music industry and although the um, the um the music the music industry is still there they just, they just don't control everything anymore, anymore. you know they, 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 they could, I think they control what they can't, what they can, they can't, but they can't control so much now, which is so good. So the music, the music industry now, now really, is really, like everybody, uh, like everybody knows, knows, is um, it's about, it's about content, content. You know, the music the industry, music now, industry now, now is about. Uh, um, creating, um, creating songs, songs and, and video, video content, content and getting, and getting it out to people. And and. I mean, and that's, I mean, and that's one, one side of it, right? Because that's, that's what the record labels were doing anyway. They were creating those things. They were creating videos and music, you know, that help you. They pay for your CD and they pay for your video and they get it out to the mass uh, audience. And so that's just something that we can do on our own now. So, but the really interesting thing about the music industry today, and I'll just say like, forget COVID because that's like such a unique situation that kind of puts a halt on everything. But and it's opened some doors in different ways, but really the music industry now is about, um, like I think for an individual artist, it's about finding a way to do your art and not lose money. Like that's really that's kind of like a big thing. You have to like 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 the way I look at it now is you know I want to at least break even. Or I, or I want to try to make some money because if, if, if I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm losing money, eventually that just, that's like, that's like right. you, 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 you'll eventually run out of money and then you can't do it at all. So, so the, the music industry now is about finding ways to get your music out there with content and to, um, and to, and to do it in a way that makes economic sense, sense so that you can keep doing it, you know, and you can do, and that, you can do that through the internet. You can do that. I mean, people know, I mean, you know, you know, you know, the different ways you can do that. And, you know, you can use live shows, you can, 
you know, you can, you, know, you, can, um, you, can, use, you can use videos, you, you, you kind of have to have your own little business, you know, which is easy to do. You get your own merch, you get your own stores, you can sell things, you can, you know, you can get subscriptions, you can, you get streaming, you get downloads. And really, it's like all these different avenues of income and they pull all back to you. And when you've paid all your expenses, the, you know, what's left is, is what you use to kind of do it all again. So the industry, so the industry is, is, it's really, really spread, spread out, out, you know, I still think, I still think that there's that core group of labels and if you want to get to a label, you can, um, but I still think you have to use all the, the social media and the, the, the internet, you know, um, opportunities to get known through that means, you know? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, um, I'm actually going to ask a question that my dad had who thought might be good input. Um, for someone who's in, or Actually, let me restart. Did you want to stay at the level that you are or kind of progress a little bit? I mean, did you want to be this huge band like you 2 Did you want to stay a bit smaller, you know, or, you know, kind of in between or, you know, what, what was your ideal level of where you wanted to be in the music industry, whether it's from when you first started out or where you are now? Um, and of yeah, course, yeah. family and life plays into that as well, but... Well, well, I remember, I remember my goal was, was like, I really, like, I really my only goal was to, was to get a song on the radio, on the radio someday. Like I, like I had a pretty simple goal, <laughs> you know? And so, and so that, that, that box got checked really early in my career. career. Like that, that, that kind of, that, kind of, that got checked before I even had a band, right? Because they, they started playing the CD, CD and I didn't even have a band. But, um, <laughs> but, um what I really cared about wasn't necessarily being famous or being big, but I wanted to be able to keep doing it and I wanted to make good money doing it. And so I think that 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 worked for a while. And then, you know, and then we just kind of like, like we really had a lot of like the first five years. It was just like it was it was hard, you know. To not, to not be busy all the time. And then, but then it was, it was also kind of nice when we got off that plateau because then we could sort of be a little bit more choosy. So I always think that I, I didn't necessarily want to be super famous, but I always wanted people to come to our show. Like that's, that's what I cared about. Like, because, because, um, because that was fun, you know, shows are the, are the best when, um, you know, and if there's a lot of people, then it's, that's a really fun show because you just get, you get pumped. So I wanted to be big enough to be able to draw some big crowds and then, um, you know, you know, a hundred people, 500, 5,000 is great. But, um, you know, you know, so I would have liked to have been a little bigger to have had to be able to draw a larger crowd for a longer time. But I have to like really be grateful for the times the times that we had that we were like really, really popular. And we had huge crowds because I just remember those shows being so fun. Yeah. You know, that's so cool. I mean, I remember the Houston Crew Nut Festival when you guys performed there and just, you know, yeah, there were people walking by, but seeing everyone stop to actually listen and enjoy that time was. Yeah, I got the drumsticks from Steve. Yeah, I got the drumsticks from Steve. Uh, my oh, did you? Oh, did you? Yeah. Um, so that was very cool. Um, so I just want to ask you one last question. That way we can keep it um, within 30 minutes. Um, what tips do you have? I, anything that you can give, you know, if someone's starting out, where, wherever they might be, like final words of advice or anything like that. Yeah. So yeah. Tips so tips for you mean, you mean like, like a, a, um, a musician, a musician songwriter, songwriter, like is it for a songwriter? Like a songwriter? Yeah, actually, or yeah it... anything. Because in, in our class, we're, we're it's a music business class, so we're kind of learning okay. every okay. aspect of music. We have we had different people who were actual musicians themselves, or people who were planning on going in as management or tour management or anything like that. Okay. So oh, okay. if you have any experience with you know <laughs> any of that, any tips you want to give would be great. Well, I guess, well, I, I, guess I can give a general tip, which is, you know, it's, um, I, think more, I think the more focused you can be in what you do, the, 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 the more likely you are to, I think, succeed at that. Like, so um, if you want to be all of those things you just said, it's going to be a little harder, right? Because you kind of, it takes a lot of energy to do everything, every single one of those. But I think I, my first thing would be like, really focus in on what you want to do. And then, and then just, you know, find people that are doing it well. And, 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 you know, and, you know just try and copy them at first. And, um, and, from, a, and from a business sense, I would just go back to my thought about, like, 
you're trying, you know, to, do trying to do things that, that break you either break even, even or make money on, you know, you might have to do, might have to do not all the time. Sometimes you have to lose a couple, a couple bucks, bucks, right? Because you figure, well, well, it'll come back to me. But, um, but really just try, just try to be as focused as you can and learn everything you can about it and reach, and reach out to people to do that. To do that. Like, like people that are, are successful, successful at it or even people that have failed, you know, and then, um, just try to run everything you do like a business so that, um, it's, um, not it's not costing you to do what you love, but at least, at, at least you're breaking even or hopefully making some money. And, you know, and, you know, we, talked and we talked about how maybe you can do that through all those other means, but that would be, that would be my advice. You know, just stay focused and, and just, and, and just um, try, to try to emulate people that are doing it well already. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for this interview. Um, I appreciate it a lot. And I think my class is going to love it as well. So. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate it, Reese. It's, it's, it's good to talk to you, and I hope um, you know if any you know, questions come out of it, or if there's any feedback, I'm happy to answer, to answer any questions. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I'll send this to my professor, um, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um,